Hey Detoxers! So today's video is all about laptop safety. Um, a lot of people have been asking me, is it safe to use my laptop? Is it okay to use it on my lap? Or is that going to cause me harm down the road? Um, and this is a really, really important question. And it's something that hits home to me personally. The reason why I created EMF Detox to begin with is because a while back, about a year and a half ago, my dad was diagnosed with cancer. They found a tumor in his quadricep muscle in the front of his thigh that was basically a very strange tumor for that region. His oncologist mentioned that there is a potential link between using his laptop on his lap and um, the tumor that he had. She said she couldn't tell for sure. There wasn't substantial um, research to prove that this is for sure a link, but she said, you know, it, I'm seeing it more and more often where these strange tumors are showing up in odd locations throughout the body and we don't have an explanation for it, um, but that is the best explanation she could give. I decided to create this channel because of this and create EMF Detox because of this. So, uh, is it safe to have a laptop on your lap? And, you know, while the oncologist is right, there isn't substantial proof that that could have caused my dad's cancer. Um, but why take the risk, right? There's no point in taking a risk. If you can take that laptop from using it in your bed with it on your abdomen or your lap and you can just move over and sit on a desk at a desk or um, sit at a table instead or instead of using your computer while watching your TV just again move that laptop to a desk or a table um, and get that computer lifted off of your body um, it's a really simple easy change to make and it could be life-changing the thing about it is is we don't know what our electronics are doing and if it could potentially be causing harm so why take the risk it just doesn't make sense to take the risk um, there are other studies showing that um, having a laptop on your lap is actually causing a drop in male fertility um, if you think about the region where the laptop is placed um, and you think about the heat radiating from the laptop device, um, it can, um, some studies, and I can link to this below, have shown that it can decrease um, sperm um, count and motility by having laptops on your lap. So if you're a man, if you, or if you're a woman and you are wanting to have kids or you be pregnant, make sure your significant other um, moves that laptop to a table or a desk. These are simple, easy changes to make. Um, to move that device onto a surface that is not your body. Um, also, if you're charging your computer or your laptop, make sure it's away from your body as well. Because um, when you charge it, you increase the electromagnetic frequencies that come from the device. So if you move it off of your body while charging and try to avoid using it while charging, that'll do you a lot of good as well. Um, I don't know if you guys have noticed, and I, I certainly have, when I charge my computer, when I charge my phone, they get hot. So if you've ever noticed this, if your device is getting hot, move it away from you. Don't have it in your hands. Don't be using it, typing on it. If it's your phone, don't put it up to your head. Be really smart about your use of electronics. If you found this information to be helpful with you, for you, please like this video and subscribe to my channel. And please, please share this with your loved ones. I wish this video was created when my dad, before my dad had his issues and before he had his diagnosis. If I could prevent somebody from going through what he went through, what he's going through currently, then it would be worth every, everything to me. So please, if you know somebody that does this, then please share this video with them. 
you never know if it's going to be helpful, if it's going to change the life, if it's going to make a difference for them. So I urge you to please forward this video to somebody you love and care about. Sorry for the tears today, but as you can tell, this really hits home for me um, and what my family is currently dealing with. So please, please follow me and I have some good and exciting news for everybody. Um, I have some really fun videos planned for the month of March, so stay tuned. We're going to talk all about cell phone safety. So I look forward to seeing you guys soon. Bye.